Hello everyone, I'm Chinese Leader Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Kaiserreich playing as the Republic of China. As you can tell, this is quite the extremely disgusting mess up in Siberia. So, it's February 17th, 1945, I want to explain what's happening and what will happen in the next few episodes. So, I've expanded into Russia. It's 1945, the time has just gone on. I am recording this now, basically right after Germany has fallen. The German Empire has given up. And the Third International and the Russian Empire is dividing it up its spoils. Now, obviously, the Third International has South German Union. They have the former states of Austria-Hungary, or the Kingdom of Austria, including almost all of the Balkans. Kind of intimidating. But we do have the German government in exile down here. Uh, for the Germans, at least, because I want to kind of reduce lag. You know what? I'll do this right now. I don't like seeing too many different nations, so to help reduce lag... There you go. Uh, does the independence of Garanganza really affect anything? No, it doesn't. I just want to reduce lag. That's why I'm doing this. Um, so Germany has been exiled to Africa, just like the French Republic. That being said, right now the game, all the time go on, it really doesn't matter. Uh, they're just kind of cleaning up pockets of the Reichspact, or what was the Reichspact? They have, hold on, Valachia? Well, Hello? Wallachia, and as you can tell, the game is lagging. There's a German Republic has joined the German sphere. Interesting. So we have the Union of Hanover, the South German Union, and then, of course, the German, the regular German Republic under Heinrich Brüning. Um, oh, we got a lot of manpower, too. Also, I've been doing some focuses. I'm doing the more unimportant ones, like Lightship Focus, Fate of Baiyang Staff. If you want to read that, you can go right ahead. I did Special Methods Division. There you go. And right now... I'm doing encirclement detachments, so I will let you know, I have not done important ones like the fate of legation cities, the Chinese expeditionary force, I did of course do liberate South Asia, because it didn't really matter too much, because I'll show you that basically all I did was give us a focus to go to war with the German East Asia country eventually, oh, Burma's almost dead too, but I had to be at peace to do that, so I couldn't do that yet, and I'm still not doing that yet, obviously, Burma's almost dead, using tanks down here was a great idea. Losses so far, 700,000 versus, uh, I guess 1.8, roughly 2. Just because, here's the thing, that actually should be addressed in circles, and like, at least in the Reddit or something more. So, I showed you that in the last episode, or throughout the entire episode last time, Russia had no manpower. Why does Russia have no manpower? The reason for that, which I'm sure someone has brought about, or talked about at least one point, is that because Russia has been so aggressive, and trying to get territories that it sh basically might should have owned, uh, such as Ukraine, Belarus, the Baltic states. It costs so much political power for occupation costs to the point where I tabbed over and saw that Russia quite literally had over 4,500 negative political points. That's right, minus 4,500 political power. They cannot raise conscription. And only now, they're only probably getting some positive amount of occupation or political power just because of all occupations they've had to do. And we also have the Rhenish, or Rhenish Socialist Republic. Interesting. I don't know why there's Wallachia here. That's kind of... That might be a bit too extreme, okay, to be honest with you. A French a puppet, radical socialist. I mean, it's one thing if you have Transylvania, which I might get rid of. I might just get rid of this as well. I don't like seeing stuff like this. Helps reduce the lag. They're puppet... Oh, oh. Hello. Wait, who am I sending convoys to? Um... Oh, Venezuela! Nope. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. How do you do that? Do that instead. Good. Ah, uh, Persia. Let's go back to Persia. But, uh, yeah. So, like I said earlier, my goal within the next couple episodes will show you, like, periods of time where I'm trying to kill off enemies. That being said, for example, at the end of this episode, I'll probably play a little bit longer. Let's let time go on. To the point where I will crush Russia. Oh, and I just crushed Burma. Um, what I'm going to do with Southeast Asia is probably create some sort of Southeast Asian puppet. I think that would be for the best. It helps reduce lag a little bit. It's not ideal. It doesn't make perfect sense, really, to be honest with you. But it doesn't matter if it makes sense or not. It's going to convert you to these guys. That should be... Oh, I'm out of... Oh, I'm out of guns. And tanks. But mostly guns. Ooh. That's not good. I need more guns. 
which means we need more military factories. I've been making more dockyards, I guess. I can make nuclear reactors, too. Um, so, yeah. Between this episode, the next episode, probably the episode after that, I will be showing you, like, points that are, I think are important, like going to war, or seeing people capitulate, stuff like that. We do have a couple ships here. I have Montenegro and Socialist Republic has capitulated for, like, the third or fifth or sixth time already. I only have six light cruisers that are trying to give me more naval XP, which is cool. I really want to see what happens down here. I really don't like seeing this all the time. Uh, Russia, who are, or France, you're still trying to fight the Entente, or the re remnants of the Reich's Pact, as well as the Entente. Um, yeah. They're independent, though, now, so. Ooh, Socialist Republic of Liberia is gone. I've been trying to make better ships since I last saw you guys. Torpedoes would be important to do. I could use some subs. Not the most important. Let's get some of this. Better light gun since that's coming along pretty nicely. I could integrate more provinces. We can build dockyards, which would cost one civilian factory and political power. War propaganda. Fate of Burma. Uh, who should lead down here? Burma? I don't think they had their own focus streets. So I don't think releasing Burma would be the best. Could be wrong, though. You guys kind of hang out here. I might attempt to take out Siam. Um, maybe not. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I still have my tanks down here, so we could actually use tanks to break through this enemy territory. Some of these regions definitely need some more infrastructure. Attacking from the north wouldn't be bad, though. Cool. Something like that. There you go. But that's pretty much the world that has been going on since I last saw, last saw you all. Cuba's on the wrong side. And so doctrines. Cuba is dead. Okay. Uh, Chinese expeditionary force. Ah, we could do that. Flexible aircraft. Well, we could get paratroopers one, which isn't super important. Heavy frames actually doesn't matter. Light mediums. Uh, let's go with heavy airframes. China's vast, and our air force will be stretched thin to cover all combat regions. Prioritizing the, the development of long distance heavy frame aircraft can allow us to let air wings be strategically flexible in our choice of targets or supporting missions. Good. Now, Cuba has just been re-released, and now they're a puppet of France. Oh my gosh, the Third International is pretty big. I don't think I have a really big beef with the Commune of France. I mean, they did ho host people. Oh, there goes Dutchland. But, um, they did host a lot of our, like, intellectuals during our period of exile, so I really don't have a beef with the Third International. Who I do have a beef with is the French Republic is the German government in exile, is the United States of America, which they beat, they won against the Pacific States, led by Wendell Wilkie now. Holy cow. Constitutional education. As well as Canada, the British Crown, which I really don't have a beef with the Union of Britain. Also, I'm doing radar just because I want to put these radars on my ships when I make them. So that'll be important. Uh, who's not giving me my goods? It's always these guys. It's always you. Why is it always you? Fuel. Not from... Ru I had to trade for it. I don't like that. Wait, was there yellow here? No, there wasn't. Darn. Fuel. Fuel. Need more fuel. Good. Modern cruisers, modern cruisers. Heavy hull. I'm making... Oh, kind of trying to make a modern hull. Uh, radar. That's okay. This ship isn't really that great. You know, at this point, you're not even being made. So go ahead and switch you over to this. There you go. There you go. Awesome. Do something like that. Now you'll be done early 1947. Oh, there goes the Bartia Commune. And they're still trying to fight Nepal at the same time. I, I don't understand that. I really don't. Oh, you guys. Ah, you're probably fighting more divisions now. That are coming from there. From Russia. From the Eastern Front. Or from fighting against Germany. Which really, honestly, doesn't matter. I mean, we might not be winning a lot of battles. Or really many battles, but they literally cannot replace their strength. So if we're smart about this, we should be able to win. If we're smart about it. Quite a bit of lag as well. Should be able to win, but then again, I don't know. They are using 40 combat with divisions, which honestly, Morocco's gone. But I should really use that as well. So, get, oh, those are those garrisons. These are the 40 combat with divisions that I want to use. Um... I should be able to win. I'm going to convert all of... Wait, who are you? Where are you guys at? You guys are over there. Don't want to convert you. I want people on the front line right now. Like all of you. 
There you go. We need a crud ton of guns now, though, to do that. I need a lot of guns, holy cow. Um, I can probably take off there. We need some more of that. Don't really want to reduce the tactical bombers, but if I have to, I have to. You know. Steel? Steel's cheap. Steel's easy to get. Good. Ooh, aluminum. We can lower that by one. Thank you. We have better logistic companies, and then we'll have even the best logistic companies, because fighting over here is really garbage. Good. You guys don't have a lot of organization. You're fighting over a river, but you're still killing the enemy off. Love it. Besides, we have enough resources that'll... Manpower resource. That'll last us for quite a while. Not too worried about that. Fate of Burma. I don't want to hurt myself too much, but I'm just going to... Ooh, split it up. No, I am going to go ahead and just occupy it. It's not that much of a cost, and I will release Burma eventually as part of the greater Southeast Asian country conglomerate. Something like that. Oh, look at that. Flemish communal province. That's actually really, really cool. That's actually really cool. I'm glad you guys settled your differences. Good for you. No one has claims over here. I really want to reduce lag somehow. Mm, Montenegro. Illyria has a claim on this. Ooh. Serbia. I don't want to, like, boost Serbia too much. But it helps reduce lag. Mark. Transfer. There you go, Serbia. Probably shouldn't have done that, but whatever. Um, you guys are all allies, right? You're, yeah, you're all puppets of France. So, we're gonna reduce you. I know, this, I shouldn't do this. I shouldn't do this. That's how I play. Good. Should help reduce just a minor bit of lag. Now Serbia looks really bad. Holy cow, they look really bad. <laughs> That's okay, though. Just, even though we're gonna suffer a lot of casualties, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Oop, more lag. More lag, that's okay. Yeah, we're gonna... Oh my gosh, we just suffered a ton of casualties. But the Russians gonna keep up with their casualties as well. Hopefully. Hmm. Southern area here is doing okay. You guys stop, though. Southern area is... Uh, you should really be the southern area. What are you doing? You guys come down here. Do that. Reorganize yourself down there. And I will go ahead and attempt to improve infrastructure through here. That'll be good. And I will need... Basically, I just need more guns at this point. Actually, can I just spy on you guys? That'd be a good idea. 135 days, so be it. Much. That's all I've been doing. Taiwan. Let's go ahead and integrate Taiwan. That sounds like a good idea. Ships. Still five or six. Oh, the fall of Algiers. You know what? I could spread out my divisions more. We could use less divisions if they're thicker. Huh. Kingdom of Greece is gone. That's good. It's nice. What happens if I attack here using all you guys? You should be able to win easily. Yeah, easily. Because they... Russia won't get any more manpower by the time... Okay, never mind. Never mind. They actually got a lot more manpower back. So, I'm going to change things up a little bit. So, I know I want you guys down here. I want all of you guys. I was really not expecting them to get that much more manpower. with negative 4,500 political power. So be it. Whatever. So, I want everyone down here. I'm going to go ahead and say thank you to these generals for doing a great job so far. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to delete your divisions. You have no mountaineers, so. Thank you. I could, I could use those guns immediately for something else. And help reduce lag, or at least supply level over there. Which means I can actually focus down here against these guys. Uh, let you guys do that first. Yeah, that's, that, that'll be good. Get out of that area. I'm going to change all those divisions up north to 40 combat with divisions to help kill them off. Make more air bases. Stuff like that. You know, good stuff. You guys come down here as well. And we'll go to war with these guys. That'll be good. Uh, what are you guys doing? Yeah, I don't know how... I, I legit don't know how they got that much manpower back. When I literally saw that they 0%. Never raised it. Interesting. Hmm... What is the AI doing to us? 
good episode of guns, or at least better. Improved, like, guns, awesome. Make even better guns when we can. Should be able to attack here and win, though. Attack wherever we can and do well. Can I improve the air situation in some of these places as well? Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Still building a few more dockyards. I like it. I like it a lot. You might not be able to win here. See what happens. Right now, it's just going to be me manually controlling, seeing if I can win in certain areas. You might not. Oh, heavy, everything focus. Nope, you cannot win. So be it. That's okay, though. So, Airborne Corps, Strategic ooh, Airfield Initiative. Yeah, let's do that. It is easier to build an airfield than a highway. And in the underdeveloped Chinese interior roads, they are scarce. Building strategic airfields at key regions and provinces will allow for both better communication with the central government and also allow for air support in nearby battle zones. Good. So basically at this point, ah, I see, I think they might be deleting their divisions or something because of all that manpower. Now, they had a lot more divisions earlier. But all that manpower. Hmm. Okay, who's attacking? Transamir, Transamir, come on, man. Don't be that crazy. You're looking pretty good. Could you win here? I would request that you smash them here. Good. All of you guys, I'm going to just go ahead and tell you to become more specialized. Yeah, it's going to ruin our supply of guns, but that's okay. Oh, non aggression pack canceled. I need more steel. Good. Albanian Social Republic? Thank you. Rhenish Socialist Republic as well. Good, thank you. Oh, and they're actually attacking me finally. Interesting. You know what? Uh, did I change you? all of you guys? No, you're all that. You might be getting attacked, but I'm going to go ahead and hurt ourselves already. Convert you all to 40 combat with divisions. We must be exactly as strong as the Russian guys. This is going to really kill off <laughs> my supplies. Oh, let's see. The deficit of guns is over 100,000. So be it. Let them come in. Let, let us get more and more reorganized. Because we do have soldiers coming from over here. So, I guess the focus of this episode will be showing you where I am with Russia. And how we can improve ourselves. You really want that tile, don't you? So, I will weaken you. Attempt. Or attempt to weaken you. Wow, we actually lost that battle. Holy cow. Well, I guess stop attacking. Mm, yeah, they're going to push us back for a little bit. They're definitely going to push us back for a little bit. That's okay. Wow, some of our divisions were just overran? Holy cow. Well, they want to attack. So be it. There's not much I can really do about it. Whatever. Oh my goodness, who is attacking? So go ahead. Hang out, guys. Dig in. Have a good time. Crack a cold one for everyone. And we'll be on our way. Portugal is to deal with the Norwegian invasion. I hope... Oh, they actually took Luxembourg. They annexed that. The fall of Lisbon. Ooh, yeah. Commune of France. That's interesting. Okay, so the Commune of France declared war on the Spanish Republic, who's in the Entente. Which is something I didn't want to... Oh, wait, maybe they're not. I don't want to see... Or what I would like to see is a Russian sphere go to war with the Third International. I think that would be for the best. Uh, we already have good enough radar for now. Let's get some more extraction. That's good. Hold on, what's over here? Wallachia, Commune of France... Bulgaria... I don't know why you won't release Romania. That doesn't make any sense. Albania's looking pretty good, though. Holy cow. Get organized. Focus on gun production. We've already got another 6,000 guns in the field. We need more artillery, which is something I didn't even bring up. Uh, we need... Well, we don't need more motorized for right now. I mean, our production of stuff is doing actually pretty darn well. Supplies, of course, they could always be better. Logistics is always a problem in these areas of the world. Always a problem. Never great. But whatever. Cool. Uh, Rhenish Socialist Republic, guys, guys, guys. France, you're you're a great country. Thank God you won so that you can give me more stuff. Planes. <clears throat> Fighters. Fighter twos. It's unfortunate that the Germans had to die. They could have continued distracting the Russians. Fighter twos. I still need to recruit fighter threes. Whatever. You guys do that. Do we have any more air? We really don't have any air bases, which really sucks. Really is Garbo. Nice, you guys are doing okay. Um, yeah, you have no manpower. That'd be a great time to attack you. Other than that, I mean, we're doing pretty well. We've done pretty well so far. I don't know how they're improving the Sevastopol port since... <clears throat> 
Oh wait, no, no, that's Sevastopol. That's not Vladivostok. Sevastopol is down here. My bad. I thought I thought that was Vladivostok for some reason. They're still running out of manpower. Hmm. Good. 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 More excavation, please. Thank you. Yes. Depend less on my puppets, actually. That'd be. Uh, well, actually, maybe not. Korea. Yeah. Let's depend less on Korea, so we can still use them. Thank you, Commune of France, for supporting us in our times of need. That is great. That is lovely. And supplies still so bad. Actually, I think we can increase radar things there. Fish peck. Good. We got a little bit of an airbase here. Awesome. We got quite a few tactical bombers. That's good. You guys. Let time go on a little bit more. We always have people not giving me enough supplies and stuff like that. That's okay. Uh, who's not giving me the goods? Albania, you're disappointing. No wonder no one ever wants to trade with you, as well as you guys. Huh, well, hurry up. You're back on the dole. <laughs> you're back on the dole, guys. Mm, another hundred fighters, perhaps? Let, uh, just let it go as fast as possible. Fast as possible. Follow Gibraltar. Nice. I like that. I like that. You guys should be able to win, at least here. I would be very disappointed if you cannot win there. Very disappointed. Um, good. Steel's looking pretty good right now. Don't want to mess with that. God dang it, Ottomans. I'm not going to pay you more for you to give me less. Honestly, what would happen? Uh, you know what? No. Purge, I just don't want to risk that with you. Good. Gun deficit? Not bad. Almost 100,000. Artillery deficit? Not bad. How much longer should we go to war with the Kingdom of Siam? Eh, about two months. Two months-ish. Barty Commune isn't looking good. <laughs> Spain is not looking good. Holy cow, they're getting sandwiched by France. What other focuses does France have? Um, I hope that they can go to war with Russia eventually. This focus tree looks a lot different than what I remembered. Turn the Danube Reb, liberate Iberia, world revolution, just by war goals time. 70%, that's really good. That's really, really good. Hmm. Alright, next up we shall do coastal defense stratagems. China's greatest naval concern is securing its coastline against the Imperial powers. Coordination be between all involved parties, coastal NRA garrisons, air wings, and the Navy, should be enforced by the central government and specific mixed service chains of command and protocols should be pre-established to prevent any operational chaos. Absolutely. You are really disappointing, Ottomans. Ah, there they go. Ah, we got Logistics 4 as well. Great. Next up, we need more. always need more steel. Uh, oil, or fuel, is always pretty good right now. Someone's getting probably released as a puppet. That's okay with me. Get some better artillery. And then we'll have advanced light guns. And we have those advanced light guns I was talking about. Next up, research for that. Let's do some air doctrine stuff. We have so much air XP. And there's a CNT FAI. Congrats, you're back. Consolidating Spain. Awesome. How is the United States doing? Defend dem democracy. Okay. Well, I hope you join the Entente so you can actually do something against them, I suppose. Um, you guys are waiting for more supplies. Makes sense. Makes sense. Take out those guys. Down here is probably the easiest way for us to expand. So, we'll take the area of Turk Turkestan Khanate. Good. 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 They are also suffering from attrition. Ooh, and they want to attack with two divisions? Hmm. So be it, so be it. Good, 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 good. And we need two more divisions for this guy down here. Awesome. Oh, we need some guys down there as well. You all should be able to do okay, especially if you got like eight, actually, ten divisions here. Send two there. There you go. Finding points in the line where we can attack. Good. Good. 
good. Their strength is destroyer Amada. They're out of manpower again. I like it, but we're completely out of guns. And artillery, really. Uh, so, what we're going to do is take advantage of that to the best of our abilities without hurting our prospects for goods. Oh, what happened here? What? No, no. You should be able to win here. This, sh this shouldn't be a problem whatsoever. Right? Right, guys? Oh, hold on. They're suffering from problems. Ah, oh, the organization here isn't really good, of course. Oh, we got some more political power. Um, eliminate my exports. We're exporting a ton of resources. If I close my... Yeah, what, 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 let's do that. Why not? Let's close it. Now we have to rely on a lot of other people's goods. Well, maybe not a lot. Alright, Korea, I really don't want to depend on you. I want to lower your autonomy eventually. Oh my goodness, look at that. That looks good now. Good. Awesome. Coming to France. Thank you. Just take what we need so we can spend it, our own money on ourselves. And begin making some nuclear power plants. Or nuclear reactors, really. There you go. Awesome. Build that up, too. Siberia is a problem. Oh, all but you attack here. All but you help out. Should be able to win. We should be able to win here, too. All but you. And then you guys attack here. Good. Now, I don't know if they'll win here. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. We can't take that for some reason. Uh, oh, planes. Yes. Yes, planes. 100... Give me, give me all 800 here. Oh, hold on. There you go. And they will soon be deployed. Alright, so 200, 200. Come right there. 200 more. Come right here. 200 more, come right there, and then 200. Well, not everyone's going to get planes today, that's okay. You guys come right there. And throw in another 100 tactical bombers, which I have quite a few of. Right there. Another 200 tactical bombers, sure. Uh, and then another 100. Right. Yeah. Now, I do want to help out these guys down here as well. Uh, Burma. Oh, you guys doing that. You all come there. Any more fighters? Oh, I already used up all those fighters. That's not good. That's okay. Cover the other infantry. Good. Let's let time go on faster so we can deploy these guys. Our fuel's looking pretty darn good right now, not gonna lie. Eh, throw them all right here. That'd be fine. Cool. Fuel-wise... Let's see what happens if go to zero. Yeah, we'll probably still need a little bit more fuel from other places. That's okay. That's okay. Good. Hmm, they like to attack us again some more. Guns are doing much better. Deficit of about 85,000. Uh, it's just going to take quite a bit of my, you know, micromanaging for me here. And it will help once we get better air doctrine stuff as well. That definitely will help. Oh, wait, what? Wait, no. Don't stop. Attack. Good. A little bit more lag. Take half of you guys. And don't continue attacking. There you go. What's going on over here? Not much. Yeah, Union of Hanover looks pretty darn good, even with Denmark included. I like that. I like that a lot. Anything else I should be aware about? Coming to France is starting to destroy the French Republic, which is good. You know, take out my enemies if you can. That'd be great. You guys are getting way more supply around here, which is nice. Very nice. Radar-wise, you should be building up a radar station. Where is that radar station? Oh, it's down here. 
So, and even then, we still can't see some of these enemy divisions, which really isn't good. Now, if I attack here, it won't go well. And this, this is why I'm not using my tanks over here. Help attack as well. Good, good, good. They're still out of manpower. Great. Great. Actually, how many divisions do they have? 154, maybe. This is probably all the divisions that they have. Oh, I'll go ahead and do that. Integrate another province. That'd be great. Air power, looking pretty good, pretty good. Awesome, I want time to go on as fast as possible so we can get as many guns. Over 500 a day, that's awesome. That, sh we should easily be able to take this. Coastal defense stratagems, good, more coast and build those things faster, coast to ship air. Support, naval aviation, in the sense, uh, I'm okay. It's currently beyond China's capability or needs, but torpedo bombers and sea planes are necessary for any proactive coastal defense. Anti-ship squadrons that are stationed on land will be just as useful in repelling attacks and securing littoral zones as any aircraft carrier. Good. Mm, don't want to attack there. Seems like an issue. And these 40 combat with divisions, they already have logistic companies, no matter... They cost 1.18 supply. Oof. Oh, good. Let's go and go to Lower Sean. See what happens. Maybe it'll be good. Maybe it won't be. They're by themselves, which is good. Will they attack my line? They will immediately start attacking my line like crazy. Oh, we got even better artillery. I love it. Support companies could be useful. It gets better improved infantry equipment. And I still need to focus more on my planes, my air stuff. Now, Southeast Asia. Uh, I have a good feeling that you guys will probably be able to do okay. The tanks will. Maybe not anyone else. But at least the tanks should be doing okay. And that was my purpose of doing that. Next up, you guys. They are guaranteeing the independence of the legation cities. Well, not for long. Good. Good. Awesome. Looking pretty awesome. We overran an enemy division. They can't pierce my armor, can they? Oh, they can. But they're still losing. What a bunch of losers. <laughs> Good. Actually, if we attacked that division instead, that would have been better. Whatever. Uh, now the armor can't exactly win. That's okay. Oh, am I getting invaded? Oh! They're actually trying to invade me. Well, good luck. Don't want to forget that there's German provinces all around here. Uh, they invaded there, which isn't great. But, okay. You know, do what you do. You come there. And that'll be great. So, uh, I'm pretty much going to end the episode here just because I we don't need to watch another 15 minutes of me struggling against Russia or Siam. But by tomorrow, I will have made more gains into Russia, if not completely capitulated them, have capitulated Siam, and just want you to know what's going on. The Bar Tea Communist is looking pretty good. How did they... What the heck? Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow with an updated version of how China's progressing. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.